The ENCA sports anchor Sandy Leganose has been laid to rest. A small gathering of friends and family was there to see the 42-year-old off in Togoza in the East Rand. ENCA's Cloni Mtumkulu was there. Husband, son, father, sibling, colleague, friend. Sandy Leganose has been remembered for many things, including for his laughter, radiance, and love for music, food, and sport. It was always laughter, it was always joy, because that is how he wanted to see people around him. Sandy, growing up, you know, you know, that's one thing. Whenever Sandy was in the kitchen, we knew we were going to be the sandwiches. He used to love making sandwiches, and he'd make the craziest of sandwiches. He was what his family described as a go-getter. Sandile was a person who, who just made things happen. You know, he was a go-getter. If he put his mind on, to something, he would actually not even think twice about it, but go for it. He will be remembered by ENCA as not just a broadcaster and colleague, but as an inquiring mind. Sandile loved sport and broadcasting. He was a sponge and wanted to learn all the time. After any conversation, he would, return a day, he would return a day or two later with more information on whatever topic that was being discussed. That curiosity is continuing in future Ngose generations. It's something that uh, I wish he passed on to his two children, that they should always be inquisitive try and find out stuff about anything that comes past their way. But perhaps Sandile's greatest delight in his 42 years of life was his family. Dear daughter, thanks for keeping us safe. I love you. We all love you. Go well. Watch over us. I will miss you forever. Sandy Legan Rose was laid to rest in Togoza. He is survived by his wife Monica, two children, his father and sister. Lonim Timkulu, Togoza.